all right so this isn't the intro but i did want to say um like i said it's not the intro but i did have to show uh the formations i forgot to in my intro which i will be doing in a second also i mentioned me not doing owen trap later in the video that's not true i'm about to do it right now um this is current right now go to big nickel slot corner you guys already know that you play madden you know what i'm saying with your packages put it who you want jamal adams i like to put in and we'll go to owen trap all right so i got seven coleman in it doesn't matter who it is it doesn't matter how fast they are how strong they are you will blow it up all you gotta do pinch a d line and slant up or crash outside but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, these first two plays, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, run the ball. Just so you guys can see, if you guys aren't familiar with Owen Trap, you can see it's a pretty good for uh, pretty good run. You know, it gets you good five, 10 yards. It's cool if you don't have run D. But I'm about to show you the run D. Like I said, like I said before, pinch the D line. As you can see, left D pad, and then left stick down, and then left D pad again, and the right stick up. And like I'm gonna say later, um, just so you guys know, if there's a run that you're struggling with, because we go over a lot of things. Wing, flex, close, strong H wing, whole bunch of different things. It works for everything. Look in the comment section below. I will have, you know, a timestamp of every single thing, every single run. It's the same run D. You know, you could you could do a little alternative, you know what I'm saying? Just a little different stuff. Anyways, go to look at this. Look at this. Blown up every time. Hit stick, it's a free hit stick, you know what I'm saying? You make your player fatigue, you make their player fatigue or fumble, you know what I'm saying? Works every time. Literally, it works every time. Look at me do it again. And it's a, it's a quick adjustment too, that's the cool thing. You know what I'm saying? It, it works every time, it's guaranteed. It's not like you're gonna get caught. That's what I was saying, you know, later in the video when you'll see, I was talking about it. Owen Trap, it might be the easiest thing to blow up with this, you know what I'm saying? Owen Trap might be one of the best runs of the game. Easily stop it with this. Some of the best runs you will see in this video will get demolished, easily demolished. Next up will be Strong H Wing, and you'll be able to see how easily I blew it up. I mean, you can see every time. This is not like a, um, it's not like this is one of those runnies where it's like, eh, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Nah, every time. Now, before I cut to Strong H Wing, uh, just a reminder, the next part will be the intro because I forgot to do the last part. Um, but yeah, we'll go to Strong H Wing and I'll see you guys in a second. It's your boy Lil Breezy, 82109. And I'm back with yet another video. This time I'm doing something a little bit different. Some Randy for y'all. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to Strong H Wing. One of the most powerful runs in the game. All you got to do is pinch your D line, slant up, hover over, baby. Maybe like, I don't know. Three, four yards above the center. There you go. That simple. Now, I will say, though, the best run D for this, for strong H wing specifically, and only strong H wing, you know, like um, runs that are heavy to the right, what I was doing was spreading my D line and slanting inside. So basically, the opposite and hovering over that right guard right there. And you can see that's guaranteed, but that's only, you know, it'll work with inside zone. But when you do that, they're gonna run, they're gonna want to run inside. But if they've been running to the right this whole time and they will keep running it, this will work guaranteed. You know, the other one will work too, don't get me wrong. But that that like nah, guaranteed. Now I'm gonna try one more time, like the original method. And this original method is the one that works for all of them. And you guys can see, I mean, this works against anything. I mean, uh, later on I'm gonna have clips of inside zone, wing flex, close stretch. Um, strong close stretch, strong close half back zone, anything. You know, um, it, it really does. It works against anything. I will have timestamps below um, of each run that I go against. It's the same exact run. Nothing different. You know, there might be two different alternatives that you can try and lab up and practice, but this is the main one. Like the one that you're seeing right now, this is the main one. Now, I am recording my voice after this, um, just so you guys know, if you guys are wondering. But like I said, this works almost every time as long as you know what you're doing. Certain runs, I will admit, it might be a little bit more troubling, especially if they're fast. But if you can force them to the outside, maybe you don't have to blow it, up, blow it up every time. I don't know. But you can blow it up every time as long as you know what you're doing. You know, go to practice mode. It's not about the adjustments that take a while. Anyways, we're on a halfback gut. 
one of the best runs in the game. And I will say, I will vouch for this. I, I, there's no 0-1 trap gameplay or nothing like that in practice mode. But I'll tell you, this works the best against 0-1 trap. Go to practice mode right now, if you don't believe me. Do against 0-1 trap, you'll see what happens. I only did this just because 0-1 trap's not at every formation. You know, any sort of inside zone, halfback gut, halfback base, whatever. It's all in like bunch, anything. You know, people you will use this all the time. And you could you could see, even with a blocker, this is with a blocker, you know. Obviously with no blocker, it's gonna be easier. But even with the blocker, doesn't matter. Look, now this play, while it still did lock it up, if you get too close to the um to the center, that's what's gonna happen. Obviously, you can see again we blow it up, but still, you gotta be careful. Now you can try to do different methods. Like this was, I was just trying to lab. Um, this is just me spreading my D-line, slanting inside, and it works, it works. It is a little tougher. You have to go around uh, the little like center or else it'll pick you up. You know, it's all, like I said, it's, it's all about placement. It's all about placement. Cause if that happens, you know, then you're screwed. Now, the only reason why I would use this run D method um, that's a little bit different than pinching is just because it's different. You know what I'm saying? When you when you keep doing this, they're not gonna wanna run the ball. You know what I'm saying? Cause they're like, well, you can blow it up. When you spread like that, they're like, well, you know, the middle's open, it's easy. Anyways, we're gonna go to wing flex close for this one. Uh, look at that, instant. Wing flex close, it might work the best against. Besides, I would say strongest wing and wing flex close. Some of the best runs in the game, this works the best against. You know, you're gonna completely box it up, especially weekend league, you know, people love to be, you know, hoey and shit. You're gonna box it. Trust me, you're gonna box it. Don't even worry about it. Hatback zone in here works against, bro, works against greatly great you know they're not gonna want to run the ball especially when they get those playbooks like the Raiders you know a lot of them only run the ball don't know what else to do you know what I'm saying you stop this you stop the whole scheme you know and negative three yards whatever gonna stop them from running you know you get even more it cause fumbles especially if you got enforcer um, I would recommend I know enforcer got patched but you know if you got a Taylor Mays or whatever I would put it on him you know what I'm saying have them as a user, run up the middle, do that. And even if they don't fumble, which he did fumble that one time, even if they don't fumble, you're still making them fatigued. They'll be really tired and slow. Anyways, we are gonna go ahead and go to strong close, one of the most popular uh, under center formations for passing. Now I will say I'm only doing this just because a lot of people like to run out of here too, um, catch you off guard. This is gonna completely box it, completely. Only thing it kind of struggles with is halfback zone, just because of the fullback and you're running up the middle. Um, but even stretch with the fullback doesn't do anything. You know, the fullback won't block you. Even if he IDs the mic, you know, you're still gonna struggle. Yeah, you can see every time. Literally, every time. Every time he gets picked up. Um, or I mean, he doesn't get picked up. Now this is the halfback zone. What I recommend is that you do like Tampa 2 or whatever out of this and just try to blow it up like this. Um, it does work. Like you can see, it works, but it's just the fullback will get in the way. You know, if he chop blocks you, that's probably the worst case scenario. Um, but even then, like I said, you have other people in the box. If by some miracle, you don't disrupt the running back. And most likely you're gonna disrupt the running back. You're gonna make him go in a different path than what he wanted to do, which is exactly what you want. Most of the time he's gonna lose yards doing this. And even if he does, he's gonna get barely anything. You know, right there, rare case. You know what I'm saying? You know, it just happens. Like I said, I would recommend go to Tampa 2. If you feel like they're running it, and they know that they're running it, and you know that they're running it, and they're just going to keep running it, go to Tampa 2, have extra people in the box. There you go. Look, that time he completely came in. Probably get a free hit stick too. You know, for most of these runs, you get a free hit stick. No, definitely really good anyways guys I hope you guys enjoyed um I'm trying to I'm trying to upload a little bit more um like I said I hope you I know I keep saying I hope you guys enjoyed man I really I really think this is gonna be you know a life changer to Madden everybody's gonna be doing this um shooting the gap I feel like it's the only way to really solve the run but yeah man um as you can see at the very end I mean, at the very beginning, I did actually do on one trap. So forget what I said um, in the video about 
not doing a one track, you know what I'm saying? Had to show it to YouTube. Anyways, love you guys. It's your boy Lil Breezy 8209. And I'm out.